Hello everyone and welcome to another video by me, Sirac, for the Sirac Gaming Channel. Today's video is going to be about the server that I love and is near and dear to my heart, and that is Mystic MC. Now, the server is literally the one that I use for my Skyblock episodes, so I adore it. We have our top players on the left as soon as you spawn in. We have our top voters on the right. Literally, first thing you see is a welcome to Music MC server. We do have slash rules, just basic stuff. This is a Greek mythology based server, and you will have to choose a god or goddess to continue. That being said, we do have little click signs. You just right click them, and they'll tell you all the information you need to know to make a decision. The gods do vary in what they give in their uh, individual kits, as well as what kind of perks and uh, bonuses you get for McMMO. So keep that in mind. We're going to go to spawn real quick. After you choose a god, you're going to end up right here. It's our little hub section for our three major sections of our server, which are roleplay. Uh, pretty much speaks for itself. Mainly a quest line kind of thing. You help out NPCs, complete goals and tasks. This next one will be Townie. Which again, in case you want to get a break from RP, Townie is where you can work and co-op with friends or just make your own individual town and just build up, you know, go to the nether, farm stuff. You know, basic vanilla Minecraft. And then you have Skyblock, the one thing that is, again, near and dear to my heart. This is literally where I go to make my episodes for you guys. So that'll be uh, our, one of our main stops here. But first off, we're going to go ahead and go into Roleplay. And when you go into Roleplay, we'll pop immediately into Camp Half-Blood. Camp Half-Blood is, well, this little section here. It's a reflection on the demigods, more or less taken from the Percy Jackson, it's inspired by it. But you start the camp counselor, he's the very first quest giver. And then you literally will traverse the area, completing quests, helping NPCs. Go ahead and I already have fly on. But you can see the area is a bit expansive. All kinds of little details here and there. Got a little volleyball court here with some NPCs. We have our parkour tower, which is involved in one of the quests, so get ready to show your stuff. We have our stables, our blacksmith. We have a hero prime farmer. I kid you not. The farmer here is indeed Hero Brian. Hi, buddy. You go ahead and go back to the wheat. I'll see you in a little bit. And of course we have the camp cabins. What's a camp without cabins? Correct, correct. A little arena, mess hall, bathrooms. All the quests will be taking place in this relative area. Let it load up a little here. But and the whole thing is, we are still expanding on the quest lines. So it isn't finite, it isn't done, finished. We are still building on what has already been put down as far as quests, potential things you can do here in the RP server. Bring a couple friends, you know, and go nuts. So what we'll do now is go back to the hub, which I want to do slash hub so bad. But back slash spawn. And then our next little stop is going to be our townie server, which our townie server is really involved. I actually was staying in the townie server before the skyblock got uh, put in. So this is our townie little spawn section here. We have our little notes and message board here. We also have the basic townie commands. So how to use townie. It's 50,000 to create a new town. Honestly, that isn't too bad if you vote, and we always recommend uh, joining a town first, getting a little bit of a startup and get some money, and then go ahead and make your own town. 
We do have town taxes every day, so you always got to make sure that you uh, you always got to make sure you have money deposited into your town's bank. Which again, I uh, yes, slash T deposit. So that'd be very helpful for you. As far as the prices, you can see down here, towns are fifty thousand drachmas, natins. You know those things that are bigger than towns. Those natins are a hundred k. You can also manipulate the weather and time. So we do have a player shop, which I'll go more in depth to that here in a minute. But basically, you can just sell items. Red Seven Up is our owner for the server, so. She went ahead and set that up for us. And we have our voting crates. Currently there are whoops. There are eight voting links. But you'll see them better on the website when I show that to you here in a second. But MC server list, Planet Minecraft, you know, eight different chances for you to get some goodies, eight keys, some extra money for whatever server you're playing on at the time that you're voting. So, tons of great things. You have the voting, the regular voting chest, the mythical chest, and the Olympian chest. Olympian being the best. Alright. Do a quick uh, run z doodles. Over to the shop, which is around back. Shop is still under development. We're still playing with the economy here. It's only in beta stage, but. We do have spawners available right now. We have cows, chicken, sheep, all the passive mobs. And we have all the hostile mobs on this side. The only thing we don't sell in towny will be the iron golems and the villager spawners. Just because, honestly, it's OP. We have the artifacts guy. Eventually, you might get to where you find artifacts while digging or mining or whatnot. This is the person you want to talk to about getting them turned in. We have our enchantment wall, of course, so all our enchantments are pretty well rounded as far as what you're paying for and what you're getting. We got the repair hand signed here. So if you don't have your repair up too quick, like you say if it just started out, you have a little bit of money, but you don't have the repair levels to repair that diamond pickaxe and keep the enchant, you just slap this sign and you'd be 100% as far as keeping the pickaxe and keeping your enchants. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to spawn. I can learn how to spell. We'll go back and do, again, the one I'm excited for. The one that is the greatest to my heart, the closest. Skyblock. Alright, so welcome to Skyblock. We went a little hard on the server here, and by we I mean mostly our uh, head mod Reese and our owner Lindsay. I am horrible at building so I couldn't do anything like this. But Tons of great scenery here. I have a little uh, shop NPC here, the artifacts guy here again because I did mention this in another video but our McMMO levels do transfer over and so does our artifacts and so does our shop. So you'll see we have the actual shop NPC here. This is a shop I showed you, I believe, in episode two of my Skyblock series. Or as you seen when I was doing it, slash shop pulls up the same menu. And then we'll have our help little section here. So we'll get to that in a second. So basic commands for the island, slash island generate your new island. You'll have three choices to go from. There's a obsidian diamond island that's supposed to be extreme. Then you have the twin islands, and then you have the basic island that I started out with. I never want to go with twin islands because it seems a little too easy to have that much space. And I like things not being too easy. Then we have our rules. Basically, the server rules apply, and to insert nonsense. Basically, anything that's already covered by the rules, there's no extra rules around that. Then, of course, if if you do vote while you're standing on the Skyblock server, 
you will get the keys while on the Skyblock server. So, like I said earlier, whenever you vote, you want to make sure you're in the server or that you're in the section of the server that you want to be in. So, if you want to have your keys transferred to your townie, make sure you're in townie before you vote. If you want to do it on Skyblock, make sure you're on Skyblock before you vote. But eight keys gets you quite a bit of goodies like diamonds, iron ingots, the actual crate keys. I have actually gone from a voting key to a mythical key, all the way up to an Olympian crate key, and then, yeah. I've gotten the Hades crown once. Got money options in here for winning, blocks of diamond, another Olympian crate key. So it's really a gamble, and that's what we like. We don't want it to be too overpowered for voting, but at the same time, we want it to be worth your time for actually voting and getting that key and using the key. So that being said, we have one more stop, and that will be slash warp market. Now our market is really fun. Let me pop out of Vanish. One of the advantages of being a, a head admin. So like I was saying earlier, we do have the player shops. So I borrowed this one from our owner, which looks like she hasn't seen yet. But we can sell items, we can buy items. Basically using the, the plugin for the player shops that we have. Basic help commands. How to rent, unrent. You can add friends to your shop, defriend them, and just go ham on it. But this is basically our player shop setup here. We have individual stalls down here. Like this one's by James MO2. You can see he sells looks like colored clay. Have an empty stall right here for 225 per day. This is my lovely piece of uh, property, so it's really nice. Nope, no donations recently. It's no problem. Got a second floor of mine. Got some enchant books I sell. So it's a nice little place to take the extra money. You know, if you don't want people join like coming into your town, that's because we do eventually, we will eventually hold town wars. So this is a good little neutral area to sell items that you will eventually pick up on and find. So, but that being said, there's one little extra thing I want to show you, and that's our server's website. We'll go ahead and pop over to that now. So this is our server website, playmysticmc.engine.com, which I will definitely leave a link in the description for the video here. Basically has all of our top stuff. You'll see the voting section right here. Whenever you log in for the first time and you come onto the page, it'll give you a voting reminder saying you need to vote today just to help you out. But there's a little voting section there. You can see the online users for the server. All kinds of goodies here. Little days added section. Our owner really does try her best to keep everything running and working out. You know, she's been adding things slowly but steadily as far as getting new plugins and making our server experience a lot better. And I have mad respect for that. We'll go into the donation store. Did have this popped up. There we are. So basic donation store, you get perks for donating to the server. Now whatever perk you choose, that's it'll be depending upon on what you choose. But we have the rank section. So you have big three parent and rebirth packs. So you can Remember in the god selection, you can choose whatever god you wanted. This would actually change your uh, god to either Zeus, Poseidon, or Hades, depending on what you want to do. Each one has little bonuses. This one has a wheel. This is the sword of Zeus. 
And you'd get the ability for Slash, Kit, Zeus, and you receive 3,000 Drachma. For Poseidon, you'll go ahead and get the Wheel of the Sword of Poseidon, which is one I actually uh, donated for at one point. And you get the, get the, you get the Slash, Kit, Poseidon. Gives you health regeneration on right click, which is beautiful. And then you have the Hades, which is what my sister, who currently plays on the server, has. And allows you to wither your target in PvP. So if you ever catch anyone outside of town, like in Wilderness, it's all PvP. So it's all fair game. Now say if you just want, say you picked uh, Hephaestus as your starting goddess, or god, I forgot which one it is. So you pick them to start off, and you just don't like it, you want to switch over to Artemis. You can buy the Reborn pack. It'll actually allow you to re-choose and pick a new parent. You'll also be given $1,500 in-game as a token of thanks for supporting the server and just for buying the pack. I mean, we, we try to give out and try to help you guys out as much as you guys help us. So, Make MMO skill levels. We have six available right now. We have the sword skill up, archery skill up, axe, mining, acrobatics, and fishing. I have definitely got the fishing one before, as you've seen from my video when I explained the differences with uh, repair, fishing, and how they were the parents for uh, smelting. And I got no time for fishing, so I went ahead and got this. The repairing I did naturally, obviously, because I can't buy it. Speaking of buying, we do have currency. Now, the currency again depends on what server you are physically on at the time of purchase so if you buy the 50k drachma pack and you're on the townie server you'll get that 50,000 uh, balance sent to your townie server same thing for skyblock if you're on skyblock you buy the package and it hits your balance it's going to hit right there so you'll get that 50,000 on the skyblock but not the townie each one of the town, like between Townie and Skyblock, they have different inventories and different uh, balances for your money. So keep that in mind whenever you donate. We got little server packs here. These go from any server, whether it's Roleplay, Townie, or Skyblock. You can get the plus 5 set homes, the plus 10 set homes. You can get a feed command. You can opt in for color chat. You can even buy fly. Now, mind you, if you don't want to buy Fly, but you still want to acquire it, our top voter every month for the server gets the ability to fly for one month. So if you're always the top voter, you're going to have Fly for free. So it's just something to look forward to. And then we do sell the crate keys for the Olympian crates on here as well. The last but not least, I want to touch upon our forums. We do have an active forum on here. Got general discussion. Talk about gaming rules. We have staff up uh, staff applications here. You can if you see something going on, you can report players. If you think they're hacking, you know, X-raying or whatever. We have a lore section for our gods and goddesses, artifacts, legends. We had our guy Snowbound Owl. He is amazing at writing stuff, and it's still coming out, so hopefully we'll have more here very soon. And then we have news and announcements for the website, and we also take site suggestions. Again, the owner does everything she can to make the experience on the server absolutely phenomenal, and I love it. We'll go ahead and pop back into Minecraft. I actually have my Skyblock set as a home. Mm, never mind. I S go. Yeah. But as you can see, I haven't done anything since the last episode for Skyblock. But I will be picking up tomorrow and uh, starting right back up. So we will make some uh, leeway as far as continuing this series. And if you do have any questions, by all means. You know, hit me up in the comments section. If you want to pop on the server, 
be more than happy to say hi to you if I'm online. If you need any help, don't hesitate to ask anybody because we're all friendly here. But we'll go ahead and wrap it up for today. So, hope you guys had a good time. Hope you enjoyed the server. And I hope to see you guys on here. Have yourself a great one and talk to you later.